Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be building a servo from start to finish. There is nothing in here and I will show you everything you need. So first, you're gonna need the servo saver assembly and the servo gear set. And you'll also need these plates. These plates will come, you can buy them like that, or they'll come in a chassis kit. If you buy clear chassis, color chassis, other, they'll come with the clear plates, but they don't come with these pins. So you will have to buy both sets to get those pins. So we'll take the servo, we'll disassemble it, and we'll put plate by plate by plate. That way can't get anything mixed up. The pins go in the short pockets. We'll start with the long pin. The long pin comes in the servo set, servo saver set, so you have to buy both sets. The long pin will go on the very left driver's side. We'll take a short pin, and it'll go right next to where the servo motor is going to go, right here in the middle. And then you'll take a longer pin, the medium, and it'll go right here. So it should look a little longer. So once you have your gears, there's four, and you can use Delrin or brass, or and brass, I should say. But you'll take the large diameter and the height, the shortest height of the large diameter gear of the four gears will go in the middle first. So short gear first. Then you go to the next one, and then you go to the next one, and then you go to the next one. So once you have all of these in, and this is the this is the tallest one here, of the biggest diameter, and you can see it's definitely taller than the first one we put on. And this one will be the brass one if you do a brass gear. That should go on there, and it should spin really smooth and free, easy, easy. Sweet. So then we can take the next plate. And it can slide on. Easy, easy. Once that's on, you can put your horn. Oh, sorry. You'll need to put the short pin here first. And you'll need to get it all the way in. Because if it's not all the way in, your potentiometer will not match up to the keyway right here. So go ahead and get that on there and you can see that pin sits flush inside that keyway it's not going to be in the way you can check again for servo movement nice and smooth so at this point i'll take the servo saver parts and it has a wide eye and a short eye and it's kind of offset you'll take the wide eye towards you with the offset away from you and it'll drop on the servo arm. Should have that. And then you'll take the servo saver this way. And some people will stack washers in here to actually tighten up the servo. I've never done that, but I have heard of it being done. But we'll sl go ahead and slide this on here. Boom, again, check for movement. Nice and smooth. Go ahead, take this last plate. This is your potentiometer mount. And this will go on here. Sweet. And then this is your last plate. And this will go on before you put your t potentiometer in. So there's your channel for your potentiometer. Your potentiometer goes in this gap and the leads come out the back. But there you have it. Start to finish an entire servo. The potentiometer. You can take the potentiometer, go ahead and drop it on there. Nice and smooth. Go ahead and get your, your plate. Make sure everything's lined up. I like to twist these wires, it makes it look nicer. Bring them through here. And then you can take your motor. The red lead goes towards the driver's side. And that's the full, the full thing right there. Awesome. Thank you for watching.